Okay, so we're talking about how to fillet walleyes here. And this method I'm gonna talk about now is a method you'd use for larger walleyes. This is about a 20 incher. And when they get to that size, the rib cage gets so big that it's actually hard to cut through and you really dull your knife quickly. This is also a method, the same method you'd use for large rib caged fish like smallmouth bass. It's the same approach for them. Or burbot as well, which have really strong thick rib cages and you don't wanna cut through them. Small walleyes and perch, you can just go ahead and do the normal classic fillet technique and cut through, but these guys, it's better to do it a little different way. Okay, so the very first cut we're gonna make is gonna be the same as the same first cut you'd make with any sort of fillet technique. Okay, the very first cut's gonna be to cut down behind the head, like so. And you wanna get all this meat up here. See this all this meat up in here? Make that first cut, extend it all the way up into there, like that. So the first cut is down to the spine. Now this is where it's a little bit different. Now, this method, this big fish method, this larger fish method, uh, big boned fish method, you're gonna just use basically the, the pointy part of the knife, like, like the, the inch and a half at the end of the blade. You turn the knife on an angle like so, and you're gonna run the tip of that blade all the way down the fish just along where you normally would fillet, right? You wanna make a shallow cut just above the fins to about the anal vent, right about here, right, right about where, where, where the anal fins start, okay? From there on, it's gonna be boneless. So we're gonna cut from here to here. Okay, and we're gonna make that cut all the way along like so, just shallow, just nice and shallow like this, all the way right down just above the fins until you get to the, this, this back fin right here and you stop. Now when you get here, you're gonna turn your knife sideways again you're gonna, and you're gonna finish the fillet like you normally would fillet, right? On an angle like so, your knife is flat and you're gonna follow that rib cage. You're gonna push that knife through, okay? You got, this takes feel, right now I'm poking, I'm poking the, rib, the, the spine, just go a little bit above it and come out essentially on the bottom side, right there. And now you're gonna keep filleting all the way to the end like, like you normally would fillet pushing towards the tail, wiggling back and forth. You wanna be scraping down on that. And I'm gonna, in this case, I'm gonna cut the fillet right off. Now, the back part is freed up, but what we gotta do is we gotta go ahead now and fillet the front part off the fish, and we're essentially gonna cut it back and we're gonna peel it off the rib cage. We're peeling it off the rib cage. Okay, so take your knife and just start slicing along. Find, feel your way along all the way along. You can hear that knife ticking over top of those rib cages, the rib cage bones. We're not cutting through them, we're just going over top. And again, this is all work with just the tip of your knife. You're just using the sort of bottom inch, the last inch of the blade, the tip. And you're slicing away and you're cutting off. You're following that rib cage. You're peeling it back and just keep slicing and peeling slicing and peeling your way along like so just keep slicing and peeling your way it's all about feel kind of feel your way along here and if you kind of scrape along those rib cage the rib cage bones you'll get all the meat off okay like that it's starting to come free a little bit more down there a little bit more like that and then once you get to the bottom, just go ahead and cut that filet off. And you've got a big, nice, beautiful filet, a beautiful slab of meat. The rib cage is, does not have to be cut out because we, the way we filleted it, we peeled it off the rib cage, so there's no rib cage. You still have this row of bones, okay, down the center, down the lateral line, down the middle of the filet. And so what you wanna do again, you wanna make a small cut. You can feel the tip of the bones with your finger. You can feel them right there. So go ahead and make a cut on each side, like so. Cut on that side. I've got a little bit of a rib cage bone here still, so I'm just gonna go ahead and fillet those out of there. A little bit of rib cage there. Okay. Okay. Go ahead and cut right down. Now you wanna cut, when you cut these little strip of the center line bones, you want to cut right down to the skin and then turn your knife sideways and go ahead and pop out that little strip. 
And if you feel with your fingers, you'll feel the tip of those small bones. That's all bones. Okay, we're almost done. So now, this is the same for all the fillets when you get to this stage. We're just going to scrape, basically, we're kind of scraping the meat off the skin at this point. You want your knife on a kind of a 45 degree angle like that. Not flat because you'll miss meat, it'll stick to the skin. Not straight up and down too much because you don't want to cut down through the skin. Skin's like leather though, it's pretty tough. You're pushing towards the end of the fillet and you're wiggling back and forth at the same time. I like to keep my, the hand that I control the fillet, the fish hand, I like to keep it up against where I'm going with it. Up against the back side of the blade basically, keep folding that meat over so you can see what you're doing. On a wide fillet, like these Lake Winnipeg walleyes are like footballs. This is actually not a very long walleye, but it's extremely thick. You kind of got to cut out to the tip, out to the end of the belly, the edge of the belly. And then you got to come back and peel back towards the top up here. And just keep working it back and forth until you get out to the tip. And when you get here, stop. Don't cut it totally free. You want to keep a sizable chunk of skin on there so that the conservation officers can tell what kind of fish you have if you get checked. And there you have a large boned fish fillet method with a beautiful walleye fillet ready for our potted chowder.